Welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't know exactly what happened there, but we'll just get started. Uh, welcome to uh, another episode of Quick Hits. Uh, Eddie Hearn is speaking completely reckless about his boy, Andy Cruz. He's being um, ridiculous, and uh, we're going to get into all that. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all from social media. Our Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Also, please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, all proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Um, so, Andy Cruz, uh, Eddie Hearn obviously signed Andy Cruz. Uh, Andy Cruz, two-time Olympic gold medalist, spectacular amateur, beat Keyshawn Davis in the gold medal round. No problem with Andy Cruz. I'm sure he'll eventually become a good professional. Now, we've seen what happens when these Olympic stars, these Olympic legends, these amateur legends get fast-tracked. Vasily Lomachenko, Robisi Ramirez. They take L's early. And not against Tank Davis. <laughs> Not against Tank Davis, um, not not that level, but Eddie Hearn wants to put his boy Andy Cruz, his his new his his new stud, in the ring with Tank Davis. Says, I would put him in with Tank now. Now, obviously, that's a ridiculous statement, and I, I understand wanting to move him quick. If you want to move him quick, um, have him fight a bunch, you know, have him fight. Three and three fighter first, and have him go to a ten and five fighter, and 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 so on and so on, and then you get him, you know, another prospect, an undefeated prospect if you want. Um, but just to put him in at one thirty five, uh, with Tank Davis with the, with the elite names at one thirty five is insane. Putting him in with a guy like Isak Cruz or Jojo Diaz, um, or Mercito Gesta, all of that. Would be insane. And those names aren't Tank Davis. Uh, I mean, look, amateur boxing and professional boxing is a different sport. I promise you, Andy Cruz has been in with, with top level guys. He's been on in with them 12 ounce gloves, three, three rounds, right? Headgear, no headgear, too. So both ways on that, right? But he's never been in, in with a guy that hits like Tank for 12 rounds. Like, I'm going to stand in with you for 12 rounds. We're going to be here for a while. Like, I'm not going anywhere. The pros is a marathon. And that's why they acclimate you four rounds, six rounds, eight rounds, ten rounds, twelve rounds, right? The amateurs is a sprint. Just get win, touch your opponent, touch him, touch him, touch him, touch him more. Hit, not get hit, go to the next round. Do that rinse and repeat. It, it, it's very, very different. And this is why you see some guys have spectacular amateur careers. And others, you know, have spectacular amateur careers and then go on to the pros and, and, and do not much, right? And then you have guys who go on to win world titles in the pros, like Mario Barros, who have very, you know, very average amateur career, right? But he, he's tall, he's rangy, he can hit. You know, it's two different sports sometimes, right? Not that you can't excel at both, but it's going to take time to acclimate to it. And the idea of putting Andy Cruz in the ring, like, I get it. Andy Cruz is 27, so he's not a kid, right? But, like, could you imagine, and, and we all think Keystone Davis is spectacular, right? Like, there's no one within the sound of my voice listening to this who doesn't think Keyshawn Davis is spectacular, and he fought very evenly with, with Andy Cruz in the gold medal. Keep it a little short. Um, what would have I? What would you have said if I said put him with in with Tank Davis for his pro debut? 
Two years later, what would you say about me putting? You know, it's too soon, right? Like, I don't know. And it seems unlikely that Andy Cruz will ever be able to beat Tank Davis. They're about the same age, right? I think Tank's a year or two older. I, I think it stands to reason, and I, you know, if I had to bet, that there's not a day on the face of the earth that Andy Cruz will be able to beat Tank Davis. We're going to find out. What we know for certain is that that day is not today. <laughs> I mean, it's just, I, and I know that he's not going to do that. Eddie Hearns obviously not even going to look to do that because it's so ridiculous. But what he may look to do is fast track really quickly and get him get him that L real quick in his first, second, third pro fight. I, I don't understand what the rush is. If you want to move quickly, have him fight every three months, have him fight four times a year at least, right? And at the end of two years, get him to eight. No, but I, I want to put this in perspective. Michael Angeletti had a spectacular amateur career. Turned pro a little later than you expect most Americans to. He's seven and oh now. He's going to get a win Saturday night in Vegas. The 122 pounder, Michael Angeletti. Then he's going to be eight no, and and he's going to now he's looking you know he's going to be ready for a world title, getting getting there, getting there, eight fights in, keep him busy, keep him busy right. He's twenty twenty two PBC prospect of the year. By twenty twenty four, I think he's fighting for a world title. That's the kind of and I understand I I understand Michael Angelo did not have the amateur credit Andy Cruz did. but you still need to get acclimated, and that's my point about Angeletti is. He, you can see how good he is, right? I'm not saying Andy Cruz isn't good. You need to learn the sport. It's a different sport in many ways. It really is. Um, give him eight fights, two years, four fights a year, 24 months from now, and then we can start looking at those names. But get him eight fights first, four rounds, six rounds. Start him in a six round if you want, six rounds, six rounds. They had plans for Otha Jones. If you remember, Otha Jones made his pro debut in a six-round fight because they wanted to fast-track him so quickly. That was Otha Jones. He got destroyed by the homeboy Jorge Castaneda from Laredo, Texas. Got destroyed by him. Where's Otha Jones now? Just what I'm saying, guys. This is, it's different. Let me know what you guys think. Um, Eddie Hearn is gonna is gonna is gonna run Andy Cruz into an L. Watch. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all from social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, eight to ten minutes a day. Keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is May 11th, 2023. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.